Hello and welcome to Risk Garage, the home of Project Risk Management. In today's episode, we'll be providing an overview of three powerful project risk simulation techniques. So let's get ready and dive right in. When it comes to managing project risks, simulation techniques are invaluable tools that help us understand, analyze, and mitigate potential uncertainties. Today, we'll explore three key techniques, Monte Carlo simulation, system dynamics, and discrete event simulation. Let's start with Monte Carlo simulation. The technique was named after a well-known casino town, called Monaco, since the element of chance is core to the modeling approach, similar to a game of roulette. Monte Carlo simulation allows us to model uncertainties by simulating a large number of possible outcomes. It's particularly useful when dealing with variables like cost, time, or resource availability. Here's how it works, we assign probability distributions to these variables based on historical data or expert judgment. The simulation then generates random values within these distributions to create different scenarios. By running multiple simulations, we obtain a range of possible outcomes and their associated probabilities. As the simulations progress, we calculate key project metrics, such as completion time, total cost, or resource allocation, for each generated outcome. This helps us assess the likelihood of meeting project targets and identify high-risk areas that require mitigation strategies. Now, let's move on to system dynamics. This technique focuses on understanding and modeling the dynamic behavior of complex systems, taking into account feedback loops delays, and interdependencies among different project variables. Using a visual modeling approach, we create a dynamic simulation model that represents the project system. By adjusting different parameters, we can simulate various scenarios and observe how changes in one variable affect the overall system over time. System dynamics helps us identify potential bottlenecks, delays, or unintended consequences within the project system. By experimenting with different strategies in the simulation, we can optimize project performance, allocate resources effectively, and avoid costly surprises. Lastly, let's explore discrete event simulation. This technique is ideal for modeling processes that involve discrete, sequential events, such as manufacturing, supply chains, or construction projects. In discrete event simulation, we break the project down into individual events or activities and define their logical relationships. By simulating the timing and interactions of these events, we can evaluate different scenarios and identify potential bottlenecks, resource constraints, or scheduling issues. By examining the simulation results, we gain insights into the project's flow, resource utilization, and potential risks. We can identify critical paths, optimize scheduling, and develop contingency plans to address any identified issues. That wraps up our overview of these powerful project risk simulation techniques. Monte Carlo simulation, system dynamics, and discrete event simulation offer valuable insights to project managers, enabling them to make informed decisions and effectively manage project risks. Thank you for joining us in Risk Garage. If you found this episode helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on project risk management. Remember, it's all about mitigating risks and driving project success. Until next time, stay safe and keep simulating.